Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome to another Pixelmon update here on the channel. Yes, Pixelmon has released yet another update in 1.20 today. Only 1.20, I should specify. Version 9.2.1. Guys, this was pr predictable. They did have a lot of bugs in Pixelmon 1.20, and it is an alpha version still. So I am proud to announce that we are on alpha 2. So we're still an alpha version, but they have they have done some updates. So we're going to go over some of the new changes today, things that have been added to the world, because just there is a new addition to this version. It's not just a patch update. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and let's hop right into this. So first thing I wanted to go over, actually, let me switch screens just so I can read it to you, is the full requirements now for this version. So a Java requirement for 1.20 is Java 17. This this will come shipped with most launchers. Uh, just keep that in mind. The minimum Forge version now required is this. And it's okay because whenever you go onto the Pixmall website that this is on, it, it gives you that link. Anyway, worlds from 1.16.5 may not work with newer versions of Minecraft. Consider backups before updating. Yes, to all the people that are still asking, can I bring my 1.16 world into a 1.20? Keep in mind, guys, that there's a lot of versions in between that that even vanilla Minecraft would probably struggle to jump from one version to another that much, let alone modded. So if you do plan on attempting to do it, just keep in mind you might want to back up your world before doing it. I personally have tried already and it didn't work for me, so just a heads up on that. And if you're using any data packs, consider refreshing every update because the data packs need to blend with the new Pixmon versions continuously. And yes, new additions, Ice Gym and Fairy Gym. The Fairy Gym was already added, but it wasn't spawning at 1.20. Now it is. And the Ice Gym is a brand new addition. So let's get right into this. Also, there is a bunch of bug fixes and stuff. You're welcome to read that if you so desire. But let's get into the main meat of the update. The Fairy Gym and the Ice Gym. First things first, let's show off the Fairy Gym. I've already shown this off before whenever I reviewed the 1.16.5 update. But it has finally been pushed to spawn naturally in your 1.20 world. For those who do not know, the Fairy Gym and Fairy Town will spawn in Birch Forest. Hence why this is surrounded by Birch Forest. So just keep that in mind. It should be as common as the Grass Gym. You should have no problems locating this in your world. And speaking of locating, if you do wish to locate it, just do slash locate space structure space pixelmon gym fairy and you will be able to locate the nearest fairy gym in your area same for the ice gym and same for all the other gyms you can use the slash locate command now in 1.20 to assist you with that if you do not feel like actually exploring your world but i do insist on doing it the legitimate way first before you decide to cheat these things are pretty common and speaking of things that may not be too common the ice gym let's show it off so the ice gym will be spawning in I could be wrong, but I feel like it spawns in ice spike biomes, but it could just be any snow biome area. Technically, right now, we are in the snowy plains biome, so it's probably more likely just to spawn any taiga biome, but it would be cool if it was only tethered to the ice spike biome. But this is what the ice town and gym look like. Beautiful decor made out of ice and different blocks that sort of complement the ice colors. You're welcome to go through every single one of these houses and loot them. Here's what the daycare center will look like. As you can see, I'll show off the Pokemon Center and Pokemart, and then I'll show off the gym. I do plan on making a separate video going over the gym specifically, but here is what the Pokemon Center will look like if you enter it. I kind of went through the side door window, but this is what it looks like. As you can see, Nurse Joy admiring her Master Ball art on her wall and the Snorlax. I love the pixel art that, that's on the actual uh, paintings now that you can get in Minecraft. And there is the... Where is the Pokemart? It's, I saw it before. It's over here. I think this is the Pokemon, but I could be wrong. This is the Pokemon, right? Right? No, this is an Arceus shrine. We're worshiping Arceus, I guess, inside here. Pokemon is, maybe just, this is it. This is the Pokemon right here. This is the Pokemon. Anyway, now that we've discovered the Pokemon, we can show off the gym. This is the gym right here. It is completely made out of ice. It's not hard to miss. And also it's surrounded by a bunch of coal ore. So if you guys want to mine up your coal or feel free to do so. There's also Pokestops that are able to spawn, it seems like, within the structure as well. I won't show off the specific trainers. I'll leave that to a separate video when I decide to review the specifics of the Ice Gym. But yeah, this is a pretty nifty update. They didn't have to add a new gym, but I figured they felt bad and just wanted to just to give us even more content in 1.20. And yes, the Ice Gym is only in 1.20, which is a clear note that they probably won't be adding too, too much to 1.16.5 anymore. They might just be putting a 
full rush and push for 1.20 content only but still time time will tell but it, it is clear that they are going to be prioritizing 1.20 updates mainly and like i said that'll be reflected in the future but for right now it seems like that is that is the case either way though guys let me know what you have to think about this a very small but very much needed update in pixamon I other than that though guys that's gonna do it for this video i hope you all enjoyed it. if you did leave a like subscribe if you're new and i hope to see you all in the next one have a great day everyone stay safe goodbye